Right, good afternoon everyone. Now I've got a few bits and pieces that um, I went yesterday, let me first start with this. Yesterday Ray and I went down to Leicester and we went to, oh you're coming in to join me Joey, oh god, dog again. Yeah, we went down to Leicester to meet Jane Robinson who ordered the big uh, flower picture that I did. She absolutely loved it. She also ordered the miniature shack um, that you saw me finish. Well, I mean, you saw the pictures of it. And absolutely loved it. And it's, I was nervous. Not at meeting her. I was nervous at what she'd say because nobody knows what people think when you go. Anyway, she loves it all. So I was thrilled at that. And she's got some other orders. So she's keeping me busy, put it that way. Um, so I'm going to tell you what's coming up. And my Patreons, I have eight at the moment. I'm thrilled to bits. So I'm going to welcome each and every one of you. I'm going to read your names out. And I will put them in the uh, video. My very first one was Flora C. Crow. Um, I can't say where you're all from because I didn't put it down at the side of your name. But I think Flora's from America. David Stevenson. Pauline Stonehouse. Barbara J. Cabrea, I think. Let me know if I'm saying that right. Cabrea, C-A-B-R-E-R-A. -E Pauline Fletcher, Linda Sharp, Jane Robinson, of course. And um, our latest one is uh, Judy McMurtry. And I have to say, the you know, I I didn't expect to get any because... I wasn't even going to do a Patreon page, but people kept saying to me, why aren't you? Everybody's doing them, Fiona. Why aren't you? And I just, I don't know. I just felt a bit... Because I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm not that sort... I, I like to do things for other people, but... Um, and I know you can't get, you know, funds out of a thin air. It doesn't work like that. And, and you know. So, it's, it, it's hit fair bit this um covid rubbish <laughs> covid thing and uh, i can't say it's rubbish i do apologize about that but it's i think they're going way over top with it when they you look at the proper statistics but anyway i just i don't know it's just me i'm a giver so i just thought well you know i looked around there's a lot of people doing them and i thought oh go on then you might as well try it in for a penny in for a pound as my old parents would say late parents so i tried it and it's um we've got a few and it'd be lovely if we got a few more and i do thank you very much from the bottom of my heart because it makes you feel good that somebody's there to support you i mean i do do what i can to help everybody and uh, hopefully um you know it'll get a little bit more and we'll we'll see and i'll be able to invest in more bits and pieces because what i'll do is the money obviously buys the equipment for me to be able to come along and do some more crafting with you and i do want to expand on things i do like i bought these in months ago you might remember the milliputs um and it's i want to show people how to use it and you it's well it's just you bind them together it's just like a putty and you make your mould and then you can make all sorts. But it's it was cheaper to do it that way than it was to buy the moulding stuff that the craft people advertise. And this is what I'm saying. Uh, there's a lot of things you can buy. If it's got the name craft near it, don't, you know, it'll cost you a fortune. But there's other ways. It's like this, uh, you know, for doing jewellery. Uh, and the charger, you get a small reel. This is a bigger reel, but you get a small reel. Um, it's like catgut, basically. What you use for fishing lines. And you know what you can get for fishing lines. You can get this. And you get four times as much on it for the same price as what you do for a craft one. And then know the craft community is going to go, Strangler! Strangler! <laughs> Strangle me, I don't care. At the end of the day, if I can get it cheaper, I will. And there are ways and means of doing it. So that's two examples. Make your own moulds using Lily, uh, Lily Put, I was going to say, Millie Put, um, and your jewellery using Catgut, which is the craft, um, craft string for fish, fishing. 
Why? We're getting ten times more for our money. You've got to save where you can. Right, what's coming today? I lost my punches. I have no idea where. I've put them in a box and I can I can put something somewhere safe and never see it again. So I suppose many of you like this like that. So I can't find them. And I'm sure you've all done the same thing as me, putting something down and can't find it. So I've bought a couple of punches. This is the first one that's arrived, which I, I was in need of. And I think you can see it's got a little snick, a little, like a petal edge. Um, I really need just a round one, but that will do. That will do the job. It's just as good. It's only a cheaper one. Then, I, I, I think, I can't remember if I showed you these before, but because I'm doing these paintings and these, um, you, what, you'll see me do it shortly, I'm going to be doing um, a geode, a, a, a gem geode wall hanging. Uh, not a big one, I'm going to do a small one for you. But I bought these um, paints, and this is... I don't know why they can't do it in writing you can see. Cadence it's called, I think that's how they say it, but I can't read that bloody writing. I couldn't even read that with a spyglass. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, well, that were clever. That come off. Oh, see, he just comes in and plonks himself down. He's like an elephant. No of him. Let me just see. Oh, it's one of those they don't want you to get into. Oh, God. They don't, do they? Well, I'm not going to open it because I don't want it to dry up. But it's just like a cream. And that'll get mixed in with the resin. I also bought some flakes that I can use. This is the, uh, the Cosmic Shimmer ones, the Gilding Flakes. Now, we used to sell these. I've sold them many, 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 many times. The acrylic paints. And I bought these because I needed them rather urgently. Blush pink, linen, latte and sand. And then I also got the uh, chocolate brown and the jungle green. So I'm going to be using those on my projects. So, yeah, I did. I think I did film this, didn't I? Because I said that's my favourite colour of all time for my nails and that if I uh, wear it on my nails. This one, as you can see, it's a nice green. <laughs> like a petrol blue green, if you know what I mean. That's gorgeous colour. And then this is the moss green, I think. But yeah. Summit green, it says. I can't, I can't read this bloody writing. It's awkward. Petroleum. Oh, petrol petroleum. So I wasn't far off, was I? So there you go. That's the new paints. So that's for the uh, the resin and acrylic things that I'm going to be doing. I've also picked these up as well, which are the Kaiser colour in the pink and the cream. This is the pretty pink and the antique white. I can read that. Oh, that's my... I don't want that now, do I? My little bone folder. So that's that. And then this is a... Pro I'm going to read you a list of projects I've got to do. These are my glass buttons, my vintage ones. Some of them date from the early 1800s. Look at that. Beautiful. And this one. Oops. They are just stunning. And I've been doing some research on them to see how old some of them are. And I've got to say, some of them are bloody old. <laughs> and I didn't realise that they, you know, they can come quite a pretty penny. It's like a diamante type cut glass sort of thing. So Jane wants me to do a, a picture. So I'm going to do that with those buttons. Now what did I just... I've just had it. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Um, these are the projects coming up. So you Patreon people, you will find some of them before anybody else will. Um, it's once a month I'm supposed to do a, a video of, um, uh, and they get the chance to see it before you do. But I only put two day, well they tell you to put a two day period on it. So you, 
your Patreons get it two days before everybody else. But I'm just going to do it willingly as I feel like it. You'll get more than one. One or more each month. So my orders are a clock. I, I, you'll, I'll put the clock picture up that Jane sent me that she's ordered two of the clocks. And I took them down to her yesterday. Um, these are done, they're hand painted, added seashells and a beach, added the sea and then added the acrylic, uh, the um, resin paint, um, liquid over it and then it's a beautiful, beautiful, very hard surface when it's dried. And they came out gorgeous, I was thrilled, I want one myself to be honest. So she wants, somebody's ordered one with a bus on, like a red bus. Um, I've got a picture with a wolf on. I've got a, a rose clock, a kitchen teapot. So they want a red teapot with a cup and saucer. A red and cream picture with a cup and saucer and a spoon. And they're going to be hand painted. So I'm going to do those on here so you can see it. Jane's ordered the steampunk shoe. I have a, a, very, a black stiletto pair of shoes that I've never worn. I bought them. I keep walking them. You know when you've been used to flats for so long? Put the uh, things on to go for a, a meal. I was going out and I bought them specially. I paid 25 quid for them. I know it's not much to some of you. You probably pay 60, but I paid 25 and that would have a lot for me. And I couldn't keep walking them. And yet I used to wear seven inch high heels. I've been in flats for donkey's years. Anyway, I'm going to change them. and Well, I've never worn them, so I'm going to use one of them as a steampunk um, thing for Jane, which she knows about. Uh, shadow box. Uh, a friend of hers has ordered a shadow box, very similar to the one I did before. And luckily for me, I still have the identical one that I put in the shadow box that I once made for my living room. And it's got a little bird in it. So I can, I have got that. I can now make that shadow box, which is a quite a big project actually. I'll have to lift the camera up for that. Um, red beaded earring set. Uh, that's a necklace, bracelet, earrings, all matching in red. A starfish set. So they're resin pieces with starfish in, which I've done a set. I've got some of those to do. An angel set, which is the little angels that I make. You know, using the flower in that and dangle, so they want a sec with that. A die cut mixed media box, so I've got the die cuts for that. Uh, you will be able to see that. And a button shadow box, which is this one for Jane. So I've got to get the shadow box in first. Now, listen here, folks. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm going to be chock-a-block with all that. That's to do next, all of that. And I will be doing that. Um, the shadow boxes. I, it's really hard for me to find shadow boxes, but Jane said it wasn't the range. What did she say now? Um, if anybody... I looked for those around where I live in Leeds and that I couldn't find anyone selling them. But Hobby Lobby. No, not Hobby Lobby. That's America, isn't it, you twit Fiona? Hobby Craft, that's it. She said Hobby Craft. Now, if anybody lives near Hobby Craft in Leeds, if you can have a look, they're about the 12 by 12, maybe bigger, shadow box frames and they were i think she said they were eight pound if anybody can get them next time they go there if you shop there let me know please because uh, i could do with uh, getting some and then if you're near leeds we can pick them up so i don't need to have them posted and they won't break i can meet you somewhere and pick them up that's if you don't mind so that's just a request going out i don't often make requests but it's a local thing in leeds only so like i say there are uh, Square box, you can get them, I think she said brown, black or white. I'd like black and white, I need both. And the glass fronted and the gorgeous. But my sh local hasn't got any, so if anybody lives in the Leeds one, central of Leeds, and um, they see them, please let me know and I'll uh, meet you somewhere and pick them up. And, and if you can, um, I need, I couldn't even get the shop online the other day. So I couldn't order them online. Hobbycraft. I don't know if they've got a website. If they have, can somebody send me the link, please? And then I can have a good look. Because I did try and I couldn't find them on there. I've got the glue gun on. Oh, and I've got some more white acrylic paint came in. 
So I've got that. Oops, a daisy. That's oh, God, I've got my water. I need a drink. I'm thirsty. <laughs> this um, I will be putting on the pictures as well when I'm doing the resins. Now I've just sent for a new batch of resin. Uh, it's really good quality. It doesn't yellow, and it's great and dries pretty quick. So I've got those coming, and um, I think I ordered five gallon. <laughs> Was it five? Might have been, no, two gallon. I ordered two gallon of it because I've a lot of work to do. <laughs> and I've also got this which came in, which these, I'm going to be doing some coasters and I'm, this is cork mat. And I'm going to be covering the base of the coasters with this, with the pictures on top. Um, so I got a nice chunk of that. And they will be going on sale as well. Now, I've got lots of seed beads. in. Oh, I've got tubs and tubs of them. And they've just been sat because I don't actually use seed beads that much. But I saw them being used in the pictures. So what I was thinking was, well, I can use some of these. Got different ones. They all glitter. Look at that, beautiful petrol colours. So that's going to go nice in a project with that. Just to sprinkle them on. I just don't want them to sink. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that. That's those. Um, I also... The silicon, that's what I needed. I wanted the silicon. What did I want the silicon for? I can't remember. Universal acetate silicon. Can't remember what I needed it for. I will do. <laughs> but yeah, I've got quite... Oh, I've just found my bloody punch. <laughs> oh, that's the circle one. I bet my others are there. They're on the shelf. I moved some and they were stood behind. My God. Um. So I've got these, which I've dug out. Because I'm going to be doing some bag charms as well, some beaded bag charms. And I think, I think, I will come back shortly and do a couple of those. Well, I've shown you how to do them, but we'll do some more. And I've got these for some flowers as well. We've got some small flowers. We might as well do a flower, don't we, while we're here? We might as well. Let's just put all these bits down there. Let me shift these back into the box. And I'll put that down there because I need that. I'm just going to move my mat because I was showing you how to do the little pockets before. And uh, I don't need to do that now. So let me just move that down there. And here we go. Let's have a look. I'm not doing those yet. I'll come back and get... I need to go and get all the beads. Oh, can I? Sorry, I just had to change my battery. Oh, dearie me. Right, okay. So we can do... What can we do? What shall we do? Let's do a flower. Why not? I know you lot. We'll do a flower that goes on there. I might do a patch. Let me do a patch. Okay, I've got some brown... Um, no, I'm not going to use the brown. There we go. I've got a piece of this nice thick felt. Let me see. Oh, I think we'll use some of this. I love this. My Nottingham lace. So, so pretty. Oh, I like that as well. Right, so I've got my needle.
and then what I'm going to do I don't always do it but sometimes is to just dab a bit of glue on there and stick these two ends together like that finger and thumb and just do that and it evens out and it, I only say it again and again for people who have just joined us in case they're beginners if you do that we call this I call this a fold and you just stretch it out and go round and round and you kind of like even it out yourself like that so let's get this straight do you know what I'm gonna do two because they're only small those like an oval see like that just those shapes will do nothing special righty ho so so we're going to take that on and put that there as well like that Let's uh, do this again. Let's see what we've got to put in them. Oh, we've got one of these. Let's have a look. Aren't they pretty? Right, let's have a look. I'm just going to trim this off. Hmm. Let's have a look, see what I can do. Just gonna put these back and I think that will look really pretty on there so I'm just gonna go for it like that and that can sink in the middle like that and we'll do the same with this one it's a little bit out of sync that one but we're gonna put that back like that I'm gonna put something here now, I have got at the side of me um, my jar full of oddments, two pink roses. And then maybe, oh, that would look nice, wouldn't it? All right, baby, you can't come right in here because there's no space. The big dog's come up now. Go on, out there. Out, out, out. Go. Go, go, go. There's no room for you. He's trying to sit in a very, very... You're sat on the bin. You're in the bin. Lucky, get your ass out of the bin. You're sat in Mammy's bin. Move. You silly old. <laughs> He's sat in the bin. <laughs> He's the big dog. He's massive. <laughs> oh, my word. You sat in the... <laughs> Sorry. He sat in the bin. Would you believe it? Oh. There's <laughs> a way he come in and plugged his... I tried turning around in a very small space and then sat his backside in the bin. What a tit, you numpty. Sorry. Oh, dear me. Poor bugger. They're terrified. Absolutely terrified like most animals are of the um, fireworks. So this is where you can mix and match all your flowers. They don't have to conform to one colour. two matching so they're just oddments and this is how i can fill up you know use my oddments to um fill gaps 
So the, even if I had just one of those and I was doing one patch, that's all I'd need. So this one is going to go here. I have to double check that the dogs don't because Joey brings the mail now. I've trained him to get the mail from the letterbox. And uh, <laughs> sometimes, he's not quite got it all, but sometimes he'll uh, try and open it for me. He wants to see what's in it first before mum gets it. So I do have to watch him. Now we've got a little gap here. So I've got these bobbles. I'm just going to put a red one in. And again, colours not matter. It doesn't matter. You don't need to have um, everything matching, matching. There's, that can just make a project. Just that little bit there. Well, one more thing in there and I think we're done. They're nice, aren't they? I need one thing here. So what I've got are some little... Uh, and I'm going to use the lavender to keep that colour. I want a little bit more of the lavender. Just there. And I think that will just set that off, that project. I'm not going to use those. We don't need to. So I'm just going to put these away. And then all you do, I need a little bit of that fabric. What I'm going to do is attach that on there. So we open that up and you've got like a little loop here. So do you know what? Uh, I'm going to do it a bit thicker. Let me just use a bit thicker one. A wider one, sorry. I'll do, whoops. Oh, well, that was clever, wasn't it, Fee? Let me move my needle because I know what I'm like. So we just need to, first of all, attach the back of it, the underneath should I say. Have we done that right way around? Yeah. Then we take a piece of felt, pop that underneath, like that, flip that back, push that down, and pull it into place, flip that back. like that, push that in there like that and then fasten that up and you've made a little clip, how's that? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the opposite way in case somebody wants to buy the pair, it'll be sold as a pair and they can have them that way then, not that way, that way. <laughs> <laughs> They'll look nice on a book or something, won't they? So you can take this off, you don't need to keep this on. Push that in like that and then outwards. And hey ho. There you go. Or that way, whichever you want to do them. Or that way, or that way, doesn't matter. A couple of patches. And I'll be back to uh, do some danglies. Okay, some uh, charms, bag charms. That's it, thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.